should be with us. We know how to look after it properly. We liberated it. Liberated? Yeah. That's one word for it. Don't be bourgeois, Jenny. You're better than that. You drink everything I put in front of you, down in one, and you slam your glass down in the bar and ask for more. It's wonderful. We're not clever like you, so we have to be clever in other ways, because if we weren't, there would be no fun. <laughs> we have to be clever with maps and, and... You want to know what stats are? Stats are old ladies who are scared of colored people. So we move the coloreds in and the old ladies move out and I buy their flats cheap. That's what I do. So now you know. And if you don't like it, I'll understand. And you can go back to Twickenham and listen to the home service and do your Latin homework. <laughs> but these weekends and the restaurants and the concerts, they don't grow on trees. This is who we are, Jenny. I suppose you have homework to do. You have no idea how boring everything was before I met you. Action is character, our English teacher says. I think it means that if we never did anything, we wouldn't be anybody. And I never did anything before I met you. And sometimes I think no one's ever done anything in this whole stupid country, apart from you. Marjorie, look at this. Clive. Oh, lucky girl. <laughs> Never a dull moment with David, eh? Better than that young man you brought home for tea. David's a lot older than Graham. Graham could live to be 200 years old. You'll never see him swanning around with famous authors. Hasn't got it in him. Graham might become a famous author, for all you know. Becoming one isn't the same as knowing one. That shows you're well connected. Very impressive young man, you're David. I must admit, life's a little brighter with him around. What the hell are those? Russian Zabranis. Where did they come from? Well, she probably bought them from uh, the Savoy or Claridge's or the Opera or some fancy nightclub. You know anything, Jenny? Paris. You can't buy them here. You never bought them yourself? No, I never. Oh, shut up, you stuck up the carrot. But I'll bring you some back if you like. You are joking? No. He's 
Taking you to Paris? Oui. This term? Peut-être. Ah. Wait. Isn't it your birthday next Thursday? Might be. <laughs> oh, my God. Your birthday. <laughs> I would not like to be you. Ooh. All those suppers you've had of him. Ouch. You're such a Victorian attitude to sex, you two. But your parents wouldn't let you swan off like that, would they? Well, we haven't told them yet. But David will come up with some story. He usually does. Yeah, I've noticed that. Chanel perfume, Chanel perfume. Chanel lipstick, Chanel lipstick. Those funny cigarettes you were smoking, Sabrun. <laughs> Ten packets each. Uh, how much is the Chanel perfume? Well, are you the girl going to Paris or are you not? Because... Tina, top button. Jenny, the headmistress wants a word with you. The, um, legend of Mr. Rochester may have travelled further than you intended. Come. Ah, oh, Miss Bella. We're all very excited about your forthcoming trip to Paris. <laughs> Our excitement indeed knows no bounds. Some of us can talk of little else. An older man, I understand. A word of warning, Miss Mellor. There may well have been the odd sixth form girl who has lost an important part of herself, perhaps the best part, while under our supervision these things happen regrettably. If, however, we are made aware of that loss, then, of course, the young lady in question would have to continue her studies elsewhere if, that is, she still has any use for A-levels. Do I make myself clear? Can I go there? If you would. What are you doing in there? But I imagine she's lighting the candles on my cake. You're 17, not 250. Thanks for inviting me. That was Marjorie's idea, not mine. Not even Jenny's, for that matter. Ah. <laughs> well, blow them out before the house burns down. Michael. OK, just don't worry. Brother. <laughs> Like peace. Oh, me, please. Well, come on, come on, presents. Oh, what's the matter? It's a new Latin dictionary. Thank you. I needed a new one. Oh, dear. Snap. Look a bit feeble, eh, hey, Graham? Gosh. These are for you. Hello, young man. Oh, David. <laughs> David, would you like a drink? I'd love one. I best be going because I've got a stack of homework to do, so. Oh. Thank you. Bye. Cheers. Bye, Mr. Miller. Ah, oh, cheerio, Graham. Thank you. Wonderful to see you, Graham. Goodbye, Jenny. Bye, Graham. Little something warming? <laughs> you know me so well. Can I open anything yet? Wait for me. Before you open that lot, I've got a surprise. 